Good morning. It is 9.58 a.m. on Wednesday, May 8, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis. I've been up for a little bit, but uh, uh, this is five more minutes. So I had intended yesterday, after getting up very early compared to my, you know, my normal uh, routine that I've had since working at home, I decided that I wanted to maybe not get up that early, but try to shift my getting up schedule earlier. And I went to bed early enough to have an eight hours of sleep, but my body thought it needed more for sure. So I just uh, decided to not uh, push it too much since my schedule is flexible when I'm working at home. But that's not the big news. The big news is that uh, yesterday at the drugstore, I discovered that M&M's is once again doing their thing where they put out three crazy new flavors and you're supposed to vote for them. So what we got is jalapeno. So Mexican jalapeno peanut M&M's. English toffee peanut M&M's. And Thai coconut peanut M&M's. And so apparently they're all, they, they all three have a like a nationality as well as a flavor. And so on the back it uh, says, you know, uh, vote, go to flavor vote and all of that. So uh, I don't know that I care about actually voting, but I thought it would be fun to go ahead and, and try each of them. So I don't know. Is uh, Let's see if I can... Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to roll a, uh, a die to uh, to decide which one to do first. So I've got a D6 here. If it is a one or two, it'll be coconut first, three or four jalapeno first, five or six toffee first. That is a three, so that means let's try the jalapeno first. This is the one I'm actually the most curious about just because kind of the hot and sweet is actually a flavor that um, I, I've enjoyed in the past. Let me turn it. So I bought these yesterday, but did not try them. All right, so they, they don't look any different. I don't really detect any kind of a smell difference. Um, actually, you know, I look in the bag here, it seems like they are all the yellow or green color. Uh, but uh, let's, let's go ahead and pop a couple of these things. Mm. Right off the bat, I'm not getting any difference in flavor. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, okay. As you swallow, there's kind of a little bit of a spicy aftertaste, which is actually very similar to the last... I'm trying to remember what it was. There was some previous version where M&M's did a weird flavor and it was spicy, and that was how it worked then, too. Yeah, there's just kind of like a lingering burny aftertaste. Doesn't re there's not really any jalapeno flavor that I was able to detect. Really just kind of that spicy aftertaste and um yeah, I don't know. I mean I don't know. I'm a little disappointed honestly in that one. Um I was I was hoping for more. Let's uh, drink a little water to cleanse the palate. Now, what I will say about these jalapeno ones is that, at the very least, they're not disgusting, right? I, I, w I would eat these, but to my mind, they're not really any better than regular peanut M&Ms. And in fact, the, the lingering burn is almost just kind of a reminder that I feel like it should be something else. Because the burn isn't even like on the tongue the way it would probably be with uh, eating other types of spicy things because it's only an aftertaste, which means that what you get is it kind of distributed all around from the swallowing. Yeah, so that's, they're, they're okay. They're not gross, but a little disappointing. 
So now let's roll the die again. One through three will be coconut. Four through six, toffee. That's a one. Coconut, it is. Thai coconut peanut M&Ms. All right. Okay, so we got three colors in here. We got uh, sort of a like a beige. I'm trying to point the where the camera beige, green, and blue. You can smell the coconut because I mean, almost certainly with all of these, it's just sort of a chemical flavor, right? It's uh, yeah. Um, you know, so Steve uh, in the chat is saying uh, peppers and chocolate still trying to be a fad. Uh, good morning. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it is. I mean, I've definitely had peppers and chocolate that I thought was really good. And so I was kind of hoping that these would be a bit more like some of the other types that I've tried, but mm, alas. But so these, I'm sure, just kind of have some sort of an artificial coconut oil in them. So, but let's go ahead and try. Hmm. The coconut is much more dramatic of flavor than the jalapeno was. Hmm. It pairs well. It's a pretty good balance. I actually really like that. Yeah, that's really good. Obviously, it probably presumes that you like coconut. But I know that the problem a lot of people have with coconut is not the flavor, but the texture anyway. And so if you want the texture to just be like a peanut M&M, but with that coconut flavor, these are pretty good. All right. Great. That's pretty good. So I just noticed actually that so on the wrapper for the jalapeno ones, we've got, you know, our peanut M&M character wearing a sombrero and holding like some, some peppers. The Thai coconut one here is drinking, drinking out of a coconut, got a little flower tucked behind his whatever. <laughs> Not obvious how the flower stuck on, perhaps with like a little sticky label. All right, so one more to try. Last but not least is English toffee. Got our, our peanut m and &M character wearing a hat with a, you know, a little UK flag on it holding some toffee. I'm a toffee fan. I like toffee, so I'm hoping that these are going to be pretty good. We'll see. Ooh. Yeah, the toffee smell is dramatic. And the colors are all brown and yellow. Yeah, there's definitely a dramatic toffee f smell. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting because the toffee smell is preserved, but the flavor is not that different than a regular peanut M and M. So it's kind of like you're just smelling toffee while eating peanut and chocolate, but the smell is significant. So it's certainly a different experience than just eating regular peanut M and M's. Hmm. Ooh, as it lingers, that, you know, this slight aftertaste of the toffee, I don't know, kind of turns on the aftertaste a little bit. I mean, it's not bad, but it does kind of turn weird. Hmm. All right. Well, I would have to say, of the three, coconut is the favorite, like, by a mile. These are actually really good. I would definitely say these are, I don't, I don't want to say necessarily like they're a superior flavor to regular peanut M&Ms necessarily, but it is a variety that I would buy again and enjoy again. Whereas the toffee ones and the jalapeno ones are okay, but a little weird, not quite what I was hoping for. 
So that's my new peanut M&M variety review flavors. Hooray! Um, before I sign off today, I'll just remind everybody that uh, my novel Phyllis Esposito Interdimensional Private Eye is now available for uh, pre-order as an ebook. So you can head on over to ChristianaEllis.com and uh, find the link for that uh, if you want to uh, pre-order that book, and it'll be released just before Memorial Day weekend. And uh, you know, in the meantime, you could probably find find these uh, weird peanut flavor M M&M and M flavors out there somewhere. And uh, you know, as I said, verdict: coconut is definitely the best one. All right, so I will go ahead and uh, leave it there. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. Remember, so many levels streaming D&D later tonight, and uh, that's it. And I need to stop rem remembering to say new things after I finish my catchphrase because it disrupts the whole flow of signing off. I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>